Hello and welcome to another video from Midas Touch Toys, Games and Collectibles. And today we are looking at the 2015 release by Corgi from their Thunderbirds Classics series of uh, die-cast um, models. Um, now these were released um, to tie in with the 50th anniversary of the original television program. Um, uh, but they were primarily reissues from the 1990s. Um, okay. So this is the uh, box that they come in. This is the 50th anniversary box. And it says on there, Jerry Anderson's production, Thunderbirds classic, Lady Penelope's Fab One. Um, and you've got a Corgi logo at the bottom. And at the top, you've got the age, which is three plus. Okay, um, that's about it on the box. Before we actually have a good look at the vehicle, what I'd like to do is turn the box around and see what's printed on the back. Okay, so I've turned the box around and on the right hand side, you can see a couple of images of the Fab One. Um, one parked outside the um, Crichton Ward Manor and the other one uh, being driven by Parker. Um, now it says technical spec Fab One. Fab One is a striking pink Rolls Royce owned by Lady Penelope Crichton Ward and driven by the inimitable Parker. Outwardly, Fab One is simply a powerful, sophisticated six-wheeled vehicle, and beneath the highly polished exterior is a, a, a veritable armory of tricks. From smoke bombs to machine guns, booster jets to hydrofoils, Fab One has it all. Motive power, booster and takeoff rockets, turbo jets, ramjet turbines, fuel, atomic pile and rocket fuel okay that's on the back so if i turn the box to the side you can see you've got an image of um parker um lady penelope's driver and butler and on the other side of the box you have an image of a lady penelope Crichton board herself okay um that's the box looked at so let's open the box take the model out and have a good look at it okay so i've removed the inner box from the um, outer box and the inner car from the outer box and unfortunately i can't remove the car from the packaging because it's it is all strapped on at the bottom um, and i don't want to remove it because i would not be able to put it back on again um, but we can still have a good look at the car now the car is about 15 centimeters long um, it's about 50 centimeters wide and about 40 centimeters high from the bottom of the wheel to the top of the canopy and now the canopy actually slides closed and open you can have it fully open or heart part open um, inside the car you've got lady penelope on the back seat and you've got parker um, driving the car as you can see at the front there um, now this particular model um, or the fab one had six wheels four at the front two at the back and it's got a rear um, rocket um, or missile um, uh, guns at the back and you've got at the front the front section pulls down I can't actually put it down because it's still attached to the car but it does actually pull down and you have a missile which is launched from the front so you've got to remove the tag to be able to to do that which I can't do because it's still attached to the card um, and there's I don't know if you can see at the back there's spaces for four of the torpedoes to um, fire from the rear and these fire by pressing down you, you press down on the front to fire the, the uh, missile and press down on the back to fire the torpedoes um, and at the bottom of the box you can see in the bag you've got the, the rear torpedoes and the uh, missiles for the front which load onto the car um, obviously it's a fully die cast die cast model um, there's uh, plastic um canopy and the figures are plastic but other than that the rest of the vehicle is all die cast metal um it's pretty much a reissue from the 1990s um one um, that was released when thunderbirds returned to the uh, mainstream television um and they've been 
several versions of this released. There's one for the 30th anniversary, one for the 40th anniversary, but this particular one is in the 50th anniversary packaging. But they're pretty much all the same vehicle. Um, the the centenary ones that are in the you know the the 30th, the 40th, or the 50th, they're the ones that are highly collectible. Um, the, as is this one, um, and because of that, they are becoming very difficult to find. But as usual, we at Minus Touch have managed to find a few of them, which are currently available for you to purchase on the Minus Touch website, which you can get to very simply by clicking the link below, which will take you straight to the website where you'll be able to find this and many other vintage uh, Jimmy Anderson items and many other vintage toys, games, collectibles come to that. There's over 10,000 products currently available for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're uploading videos for everything that goes into the uh, website. There will be something for everybody and there's thousands and thousands that we've got to do yet. So I hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.